Hey, I'm Andy. We're back with Duelist 2, and we're just going to do the weekly challenge. Alright, see Vitruvian. Vitruvian. Alright. So we have an Orb Weaver. We have another Orb Weaver. We have a Mana Forger. We have a Weakened Repulsor Beast. We got two Wind Dervishes. Seems like we also have the Fireblaze Obelisk, which gives our Dervishes plus one, plus zero. And a normal Ethereal Obelisk. We can get two more mana, maybe. And there is a, a Dispelled Sand Howler. Okay. And then the opponent has an Amara Healer, a Sand Howler of their own, which is why the Repulsor Beast is minus one. And the first Harper Crane. And the enemy has 22 health. Alright, so I feel like we're gonna have to dispel the Amara Healer. Maybe. And we also have a Fountain of Youth. Transform a minion into a copy of itself. I don't know how that will work. Hmm. Maybe with the Wind Dervish? I don't, I don't know. But we also have an Imperial Saboteur opening gambit. Give a nearby minion minus two minus zero to your next turn. We got a Bone Swarm. Deal two damage to enemy general and enemy minions nearby them. And we got a Siphon Energy. We got another Imperial Saboteur. And we got a Zenrui the Blight Spawn. So take control of a nearby enemy minion two or less attack. Well. I mean, this is a structure. I don't think this counts as a minion. But we do have the Imperial Saboteur, which I assume we're, we're going to Imperial Saboteur Zenrui, right? But does it give, but does it give haste? That, that's the question. <laughs> so we, I mean, first things first, we'll just dispel the Samara Healer. So it's now in 6-5. Let's see. So Imperial Saboteur. So we have nine mana. That'll be five, six, seven, eight, nine. So may maybe we don't need to play the Bone Swarm. Unless we can grab a mana spring. But then all these require nearbys. Hmm. Two or less. So we had to do it twice. So maybe we have to get rid of the Sand Howler as well. I guess what we'll do is let's move this uh, orb weaver can attack. And then the imposter beast can attack. Dervish can attack. And then the other Dervish can attack. So the opponent is at 12 right now. Let's see, if we do. If we Zen Rui. Hmm. So we need, we need to get rid of the Sand Hauler too, so let's. We need to do four damage. Huh. I'm gonna restart the uh, Is there a way to grab a mana orb without playing a minion? It doesn't. It doesn't look like it. So maybe Bone Swarm's not the way. So. Oh, so the Sand Howler, we need. Uh, maybe it was on the, on the right track anyway, so uh, we'll just do the same thing again. Use the that, that Orb Weaver, use the Pasha Beast, then use this Dervish. So then we'll move this upward. Oh, it's pro. Yeah, the, yeah, we needed the Siphon Energy, the Amara Healer. Move this upward. Move this down, move this down. 
Oh, that's still not enough because of the minus one. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. So I was giving it the plus. Huh. So let me see. So what we need to do is then. Maybe we'll possibly use attack the sand helmer. Siphon energy this. Uh, use the orb weaver to attack the general. Move this, or move this down. Attack the general, move this up. So the orb weaver can go down and the windows can go down, so that'll be three. But then how, how do we play the Zenrui then? If, if we're going to Imperial Saboteur. Hmm. If we attack this for 5, the opponent will be at 12. So if the opponent is at 12, in theory we can do... Let's see. We can do Imperial Saboteur, Imperial Saboteur, so that we can technically Zenrui, but we just don't have a spot to Zenrui. Hmm. Well, that's tricky. So maybe, maybe that, that maybe that's a red herring. <laughs> well, obviously we have to siphon energy it. Maybe we do it to the Ukraine. But then we, we won't have enough because this only gives you minus four and Zenri requires two or less. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think I think we got this. Because we can just do the sand howler, right? So we'll dispel I I'm gonna try this. We'll dispel the Mar Healer. Then what we'll do is move this over. When you take control of a nearby enemy, two or less attacks. So, the Sand Howler is this nearby enemy, so much one minus zero, so we can actually do that. So, let's go over here. This will get an attack back, so we'll go over two. Like, so. Oh, actually, maybe I did a. Hmm. I, I, I think this is, requires the ordering be correct. Uh, we first we'll siphon the energy. We'll move this up. We will... Let's see. Oh, it's a nearby enemy. So maybe... Maybe we attack... First. So the opponent's at 18. Then we will Fountain of Youth this sand hour. So maybe it will be undispelled. Yeah, so it's at 6. So now what we can do is play the Imperial Saboteur, play the Imperial Saboteur, and then Zenrui this. So then all the all the all of our stuff gets plus one attack. So we can attack the general for three. Oh wait, no, because oh right, maybe I need to move the mm, because then these things if I attack they won't die. I think I see them pro. <laughs> Too bad we can't like move this, move the sand howler after we attack. So we'll siphon energy the Samara, we'll move this over one. So then we will Fountain of Youth. So then this will get minus one. We'll play Saboteur, Saboteur. And then we'll play Zenrui in the open spot instead of the sand howler there, so. What we'll do is attack the general for what we have with our buffed creatures. So we have three. We have three. We have four. We have four. So the opponent's at eight, six, 
Oh, yeah, six. Yeah, we had one of them. That was a solution. That was a solution. Okay. So the, so it was all about placement of the sand handler. Okay. So, yeah, let, let's redo this just so we can actually get it step by step. So we can't have the sand handler here. Because if you fountain of youth this and undispel it to give nearby enemies minus one minus zero, the, the general itself will become to have only one attack. So if you bring your minions to attack, they won't necessarily trade. So yeah, this is the solution. So what we'll do is first things first is we'll siphon energy this Amara healer so it doesn't have the provoke anymore. We will move our repulsor beast up like so. So it gets the plus one attack back. We'll move our sand howler here since it's no longer provoked. And then what we'll do is we'll do fountain of youth, which is transform a minion into a copy of itself. So this will basically remove all the dispels and all that stuff. So as you can see, uh, the first order of crane is now minus six. And then the reason yeah, I, I had to do a double take because the reason this will be minus one is we're going to take control of the first order of crane and that'll give it and that will negate the plus one. So yeah. Uh, so next step is Imperial Saboteur this. Imperial Saboteur the first order of crane as well. So use both to do that to bring it down to two seven. And then what we'll do is play the Zenrui here, take control of it so our creatures, our minions, get plus one plus zero. So as you can see the opponent is now back at the normal two attack. If the Sand Howler was at the spot we, it was originally at, this will be at one attack and making it impossible. <laughs> so what we'll do now is we'll use the Repulsor Beast, attack the general, bring it down to 19, move our Orb Weaver, attack for 3, bring it down to 16, bring down the other Orb Weaver, bringing it, bring the opponent down to 13, bring our Wind Dervish with 4 attack, Bringing down to nine, we'll do the other one, Dervish, bringing it down to five. So we have the Mataforger and our General, which happens to have five attack total. So what we'll do is Mataforger first, because it has two health and it will clear up the spot once it dies, and then we'll move our General forward and attack for three. All right, I, it seemed a little bit interesting at the beginning like i was thrown off because i wanted to take control of the amara healer because like if it dies it does five damage and i think we needed that five damage but it turns out we just needed the first sort of crane which basically did give us a lot of damage because of the plus one so yeah interesting weekly challenge and that's how we solve it that's how i adapted it and yeah hope you enjoyed it until next time thank you for watching and have a nice day